This video will show you proper technique for using a micropipette. You should also read the technical guide on micropipettes for more detailed information. Micropipettes are used to accurately and precisely transfer very small volumes of liquid. These volumes are measured in microliters. There are about 50 microliters in just one drop of water. On your bench, you have two sizes to choose from. The white-bodied unit can measure from 100 to 1,000 microliters, and the blue micropipette can measure from 20 to 200 microliters. These ranges are printed on the body of the micropipette. Because of the precision involved, your technique is very important. When using a micropipette, you will first set the volume you want to transfer by gently rotating the plunger at the top of the micropipette. Stay within the range of the micropipette or the numbers will jam. If that does happen, let your TA know. Remember, always choose the micropipette with the correct range for the amount you want to transfer. After setting the volume, you will always attach a tip. The micropipette with the blue ring around the plunger fits the blue tips, and the one with the yellow plunger takes the yellow tips. Firmly, but gently, press the micropipette into a tip. If you press too hard, you may not be able to eject the tip correctly. You are now ready to transfer liquid. Be aware that there are two stops on the plunger. The first stop is going to correspond to the volume you set. The second stop is used only when you are delivering the liquid. Depress the plunger to the first stop and hold it there. This is done outside of the liquid you are going to pipette. One common mistake is to insert the tip and then depress the plunger. This actually injects air into your solution, which can actually change the volume being pipetted. While holding the plunger at the first stop, Put the tip about one centimeter into the liquid. Slowly and evenly bring the plunger back up. If you allow the plunger to come up too quickly, you can get air into the tip. So be sure to take it slow and easy. Take the micropipette to the container you are pipetting into. Slowly push the plunger to the first stop, then quickly push it to the second stop. Only do this once. Repeatedly depressing the plunger can actually deliver too much liquid. Micropipettes are designed to deliver the correct amount with the proper technique. Slow to the first stop and a quick push to the second stop. To remove the tip, do not pull it off by hand. Push down on the blue ejector, which is in front of the plunger. If the tip doesn't eject properly for some reason, please ask your TA for help. This is what a micropipette looks like inside. You should never attempt to take one apart as the springs and plunger can be permanently damaged if handled incorrectly. Although the parts appear to be very basic, the precision can easily be altered if liquid gets inside. Therefore, you should never turn it sideways or lay it on a bench. Always keep a micropipette vertical. So, when micropipetting, take it slow, keep it vertical, and be accurate with your technique for best results. For more details, please read your technique guide on the micropipette. Good luck and thanks for watching.